Matching the velocity of the video with the rhythm of the music is trendy and cool. So follow me inside Adobe After Effects to make one together. Alright, I've already created my main comp and inside it I have a piece of music. Now as you can see there are some markers on the music that identify the hits or beats of the music. It's almost boring and time consuming so I skipped it for this tutorial but what you need to do is simply finding those frames and add a marker by right clicking and selecting it from the marker section or using the numpad shortcut to do so. Anyway, when you're done, these markers are going to help you realize where to change the speed. So let me bring my footage inside the comp. Keep in mind that in order to nail the effect visually, you need to try it on a footage with some movement like the circulating birds in this one. First, let's bring it to life by adding some nice colors to the video. I'm using a lot from the film emulation pack. Obviously you can do it on your own, but you know, I love the one-click aspect of using a professional lot. Okay, now let's add the time warp effect to our footage layer. Change the speed to 100 and make a keyframe for it. Then in the timeline, change the keyframe to 200, which is going to be my high speed, and keep repeating the keyframe for every beat of the music. Okay, done. I guess I should bring the Lumetri under the time warp to have it in effect. Right. Next, what we need to do is to create low speed keyframes in between these high speed keyframes to sort of create the rhythm visually. I'll go with 40% for the low speed, but it depends on your footage frame rate. You can see that my frame rate is 30, which means I can reduce the footage down to 80%. But since the time warp uses the pixel motion method to fill in the gaps, the result might be compelling enough to keep the speed low. But the ideal situation is to try the effect on a footage with high frame rate that gives you a buttery smooth slow-mo. Now the last set of keyframes are going to keep the speed the same until the next keyframe. I know that there are other ways to do this, but this is a very simple linear way for that. So we need to keep the speed on 200 right before the switch to 40, and vice versa. Same thing for the lowest speed, to keep the speed low right until the increase, and it goes on and on until the end. Let's see what we've created with these keyframes. Nice, it matches with the music convincingly. But as you can see, when the speed reduces to 40%, the pixel motion method creates artifacts like this as it tries to guess the frame in between them. So if you don't like the result, you can either play with the time warp parameters to get the desired look, or increase the lowest speed to a point that these artifacts disappear. You can also use paid plugins like Twixter that apparently does a better job at guessing the frames. But as I said before, the best way to freely play with this speed is to do it on a high frame rate footage like 60 or 120. Anyway, hope you learned something new in this one. Good luck!